Hey guys, Jay from Thundercat Loft. Uh, quick update today. Um, we have some second round babies hatched. Uh, my all-star pair right here uh, are sitting on two young, young babies. I don't want to disturb them too much. Um, but I am super happy. And uh, uh, these guys as well. Uh, so that's four babies on the second round, um, which is some great news. Um, <clears throat> not much going on in here, just waiting for some babies to be ready to be weaned. Um, a lot of these guys still need another week. Uh, my grizzles, oh, excuse me, my grizzle because the other bird turned out to be a blue bar. Uh, my grizzle is almost ready. Uh, there he is down there. Uh, he's got some like uh, almost red flecking to him and a straight blue bar. Uh, they look like they're just about ready, but I'm gonna wait till you know Saturday or Sunday to uh, really come out here and move them over so I can keep an eye on them. I'll be at work today. I want to do a video today on this uh, silver I got, but I can show you right now in the aviary what it looks like because there's some sunlight. Uh, that's him there. Uh, this bird still isn't really fond of me and a little, uh, you know, um, jumpy when I come in or come near him. As soon as I walk in here, he comes out in the aviary. Uh, hopefully he comes around in a couple days and doesn't fear me as much. But um, you can see, compared to the other birds, he's just so light. You know? Anyways, uh... Besides that, there is nothing really new in this section, but uh, in this section as well, we got some, uh, I guess you'd call these first rounders, because I haven't gotten anything out of these birds yet, um, besides this one baby down here. Um, but uh, this uh, red bar grizzle sitting on two babies. I don't really have to show you guys, but I will. There you go. And uh, same for uh, this dark check. Her mate's the, uh, this guy here. And uh, she's sitting on two babies as well. So uh, hopefully I get some color in the loft, but we'll see how it goes. And uh, Maria down here is doing well. She's got her little uh, plywood around her. And it prevents the door from hitting her as well, which is good. Uh, but she's doing well. And uh, she seems to be the one on the eggs every time I come out here. Uh, I've seen the cock on the eggs, but it's kind of rare. It's more, you know, she's on those eggs. She doesn't want to let them go. So um, she seems to be a pretty good mother. And... Uh, that's about it guys. I'm going to do a quick video on this, uh, I got to grab this bird and do a quick video on the other bird. Um, I got to find a new home for this one egg here. And, uh, see if I can get another, another, um, two eggs out of her. And, uh, also before I go, I'll, I will say I was recommended that I, uh, if you guys have said it on YouTube, but um, my issue I'm having with these birds is that they're not confined enough or they're, they don't have the seclusion they need. Um, it's too open. And originally when I built this, uh, 
I built it kind of like a, I saw on a Gannis, Mike Gannis video, there was uh, a nest front and it was just a solid nest front from uh, floor to ceiling. And I tried to duplicate that just to save time and I thought it'd be efficient for cleaning and I just threw it together really quick. I mean, this whole thing is, is just scraps. It's not like I really planned this. Um, most of the wood was free, but uh, I think all the wood was free, excuse me. Um, but uh, I took it down because they were having trouble getting in and out. And, uh, you know, I decided that I would just go with the open feel to it anyway. But apparently these birds don't feel safe. I mean, I think that that might be one of my problems. They don't have like a real home or a real nest. It's kind of like sitting on an open shelf. Um, so I'm, I was recommended to use some like cardboard boxes or something to to uh, make it feel a little more cozy for these guys. And I think I might do that. So next time, the next video, you might see some cardboard boxes in here, which seems kind of, you know, ghetto or uh, unprofessional, but you know, whatever it takes to make these guys mate, I'm gonna try. Um, Cause I do want to get one round out of these guys and they, they just don't seem to be doing it or getting there. And uh, they don't have that motivation that I need. I don't know. Um, I did get them a little late. Uh, I got them like ended. Some of these I got end of January, especially the silvers. So, uh, you know, unfortunately, getting them end of January and taking three weeks to get them uh, their hormones going and to get them mated. Uh, you know, and now we're in February and now we're almost in March and I still don't have any eggs. Um, I currently have two eggs, uh, but it's all right. I mean, it's, you know, I don't have much space in my loft anyway. Like I'm not trying to uh, overload myself in the first place. So um, maybe this happened for a reason, you know, but uh, I still want to try to get one round out of them. So I'm going to try something, see if it works. Um, you know, I did actually, I did get three eggs. I did get an egg down here that is now being fostered on someone else. So I did get three eggs. Um, but, uh, there was a lot of confusion down on these two bottom shelves. Uh, there's still a lot of confusion on all these shelves. I mean, you know, it's, you live and you learn cause uh, you know, I'm a new flyer and I'm, I'm going to make mistakes. Uh, and uh, I'm gonna learn from them. So uh, next year I'll be more, I'll be better prepared, uh, and down the road I'll be better prepared. So it is what it is. It looks like these guys are taken to their second shelf, which is good. This guy and this guy. So this seems to work pretty well. I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, and these guys should be laying eggs soon too. So I got some second rounders just starting to lay eggs they should be ready by end of march um i still haven't pulled this girl's eggs just because i have no one to foster the eggs so i don't know what to do with it um but uh it looks like the grizzles might be laying another pair soon uh, so i'm a little late guys but my second round is going to be here before you know it <coughs> and hopefully they're marched and um, they're hatched in march and i'll be good to go so uh that's it guys my next video hopefully uh she'll have some fertile eggs and uh all will be right in the world but uh let me uh let me get to that other video i'll see you in the next one